welcome back to another episode of Professor Having Science Cabin, where again we're down on the farm at Tug Hill Farm in Morrison, Illinois. And in follow up to my previous one, where I had showed about corn harvest in the field, I'm going to answer that question of okay, so once we have it harvested in the field, how does it get into the grain bin? So as I'm bringing this load of grain, you can see the grain cart behind me, up to the grain bin. I'm going to walk you through how we pull up here, how we unload, and then how the grain actually gets into the grain bag. And as I've mentioned before in other videos, you know, you also must always think safety when you're at the farm. And one of the things to think, think about with these grain cards is power lines above. Because that big auger on there that I'm going to fold up, I have to do that after I cross under the power line that I'm crossing under right now. And I have to think about that every level. So I'm under the power line, so now I can go ahead and pull my auger out. And then that'll get me ready to pull up to the wagon on low. But you always have to be conscious of that. And it's pretty easy in any job or any field to sometimes get complacent in what you do. But you just there's just no room for that. You just have to always be on top of your game and always be thinking safety, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's playing sports, or in my case, here on the farm. So I'm gonna kind of pay close attention here as I pull up to the wagon. Because the other thing is, is that auger comes very close to the edge of the wagon, and I have to be conscious of that and make sure that I don't actually hit my wagon. All right, so I got it above the wagon there. I'm going to show you what's going on. You can see that it's over there. It's above the wagon. It's ready to go. So now what I need to do is I need to start up the PTO, which the PTO is the shaft that goes back to the auger that makes it spin. The tractor actually powers that auger and makes it spin. So I have the PTO on. And then the other thing I need to do is I need to open the gate. If you look on the front of the grain cart there, you can see where it says open and close on the gate. And I have to open that gate. That's what's going to let the grain come out and go into that auger. So see that needle kind of moved over. And now it's open so the grain can go into the auger. So now if we come back over here to the other side. You will see that I have grain flowing into the wagon. So that takes several minutes for me to get the wagon full of grain. And the wagon will not hold all the grain that's in the grain cart. It depends how full the grain cart is, of course, but this grain cart, if it was completely full, would hold almost two of those wagon folks. So the gentleman that's helping me, Evan, he's on the other side of the wagon. He's already started the auger up when I got here, opened the gate on the wagon after I started putting grain into the wagon, and has grain flowing into the grain bin already. But I'll get out of the tractor here in just a little bit, and I'll show you what that's all about. But in the meantime, I gotta get him enough grain in that wagon so that he can keep unloading while I show you the rest of the story on what happens with the grain and how do we get it in the grain bag. So another thing I have to be conscious of is because the grain car will hold more than the wagon, I have to pay attention to how full the wagon's getting and be ready to pull forward so that I can put it in the other end of the wagon and get the wagon pretty full. And then in the end, we'll top off the wagon, but I'll probably do that after I've stopped the video because really you'll have the understanding of how it gets into the wagon. I'm going to give you another look here. And again, that's coming out of this grain cart. If you look through the little window on the front of the grain cart, you can actually see the grain flowing down inside that grain cart. It's going into the bottom auger. It comes the length of the grain cart, which we covered when we were looking at the corn harvest in the field. You can refer to that show if you want. And then it comes to do that bottom auger, and then it goes up into this vertical auger that goes up at an angle. That's the one that folds, and that's the one that dumps it into your truck or your wagon, whatever the situation is. But in my case here at Tug Hill Farm, we work out, most of our fields are fairly close to the farmstead, so we leave the big wagon parked at the auger, and we use two grain carts to take turns. So I have a gentleman in the field running a grain cart with the combine, and then we just trade off, and I bring it up here and I unload it into the wagon. So it takes four people to pick corn here at Tug Hill Farm. I have somebody running the combine in the field picking the corn. I have somebody running the grain cart that's always in the field. I myself, I run the grain cart from the field up here to the farm site where we unload the grain. And then we have uh, the gentleman here at the unload auger that's watching the auger run for any issues there. So it takes four people for us to pick corn here on this farm to do it efficiently. Could we do it with less? Could I pick a load and then bring it up? Yes, I could. I could, I could honestly do all this with one person. 
but it would be substantially slower. To be efficient, this is the way that works well for us. Every farm is different. Every farm has their own way of doing things. I am not saying that any one person's way is right or wrong because there are honestly very, very many different ways of doing it. And it really just depends on your circumstance of how your farm operates and what the best way is to do it. So I'm gonna pull ahead a little bit. The wagon's getting pretty full on that end. Put my parking brake back on. And then we'll let it run a little bit longer here, get some green in this end. And then I'm gonna hop out with the live video here and I'm gonna show you the auger. And then we're gonna show you where the grain's going actually into the grain bed. All right, I definitely have enough in there to keep him going for a bit. Well, actually, I think my load's just about empty. If, if you get notice in there, you'll see that the grain has really slowed down coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the last of it out of there because then I'll be done. And then after my video, I'll just be able to get in, start backing up, fold my auger over and head back to the field for another load. So I have to close the gate again because that's what allows the auger to not have a bunch of load on it when I start the PTO up. Let the auger finally clean out. I can turn the PTO off. I have my parking brake on on my tractor, so I'm gonna hop out and show you the rest of the operation here. On the outside here, obviously we have the wagon that's being unloaded. Coming around here, you can see there's the grain coming out of the wagon, into the hopper, and then Evan's over there unloading. So he keeps an eye on that. You probably notice a little grain spilled on the ground. Well, things don't always go as planned. We had the gate open when I started unloading on the previous load and it came out too fast and we spilled a little bit. It happens, it happens everywhere, it happens at home, it happens at the farm. So we're working on cleaning that back up while we speak. All right, I'm gonna put you in my pocket while I climb the bend ladder here because I have to climb up the bend, up that ladder right there, which is about 25 feet up to the top of that ladder. So you're gonna go for a ride with me and then I'll show you what's going on on the top end where the auger's dumping the grain into the bath. I'd hold the camera for you, but you gotta make sure you're hanging onto a ladder good. Another safety point, right? It's always important to be paying attention, have those three points of contact when you're climbing a ladder. All right. We're up here on top of the grain man. There's that auger running away up there. That's where it's dumping it in through the roof. We'll look on the inside here. And there is our pile of grain where it's coming in through the roof into the grain bin. This grain bin was empty this morning when we got started. But by the end of the day here, we should have this bin full. So I'll give you a view from up here at the top of the grain bin. There's the grain going into the roof. And then here's the view from the top of the grain bin. There's the corn crib that's in a different video you can watch the mine. And if you look off in the distance there, over top of the house in that other red shed, that corn field in the distance is where we're actually harvesting today and where this grain is coming from. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Professor Havin Science Cabin. I hope you learned something. I hope it gave you an understanding of how the actual grain gets into the grain bin. And then I will do another video and another show where we'll cover how we dry the grain in the grain bin. You might find that interesting, so look for that one as well. But with that, thanks for watching today. Have a wonderful day. And as always, be safe.